Definitely we gotta land it. It'll be my first one ever. Oh! I jinxed myself. Going down a little bit. I'm trying to. There's a pipe down there I've seen, and I don't want to get on that pipe. Yeah, you're probably, I just didn't want you to get wrapped up. Right? Oh, you're deep, aren't you? Yeah, I'm deep. It's going out underneath your line, see? Can you come underneath? Over? Do you want to come over the top of me, that one? Chad, bring that rod over the top of me. Yeah, it looks like it's still on it. You have to go down and run through it. I'll meet you down there to land it. <laughs> Wait, what? I called that dude. Alright, John, John, you got me? Alright, my man. Fuck. In the middle, baby. You think it's a teeny buffer? Oh, yeah. Alright, perfect. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. oh was that? Yep, yeah, sure was. <laughs> you know that sound. Woo. Oh, wait, give me two seconds, bro. Alright, ready. Morning, 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 morning. So today, yeah. doing a bit of my Euro carping. Well, over here, it's, it's Euro carping in a way. I'm using the standard Fox Horizon rods, 12s, with a 3.5 test curve. I love a good Fox. On top of that, using Dominator X, Sonic Rock One Reel, and I've also got a Dio Reel, Big Pits. I do like my Avenger Akuma. It's a nice one to have. It's a small one. It goes quite well with the NGT Margin Stalker. And when I'm fishing, I like to fish on the inside areas like this. A couple on the inshore, in deep, in, out there, in deep area. But also like to have the lines inshore as well. Get a variation to having a lot of my lines spread across the whole section of the river. Also got a forged tackle rod pod system using the Fox Microns. I do love the Fox Microns. They're pretty loud, especially if you're night fishing. You get a nice little remote with it. It is loud in the nighttime as well and pretty clear. And you want it to be loud and clear because if you miss that fish, you're going to lose your, either your rod and you're, or you're going to spoil the reel. Whichever way, you've got to get going with some good gear. But all in all, good fishing, happy lifestyle, happy me. These are some new rods and reels that I've gotten. Uh, bought them used, but they're, I think, were used once or twice, maybe three times at most. They're uh, century rods, 12 foot three and a half pound test curve. And these are the Daiwa Basia's reels. Um, they work phenomenally. They're smooth as silk. Um, I, I've only used them now a couple of times, uh, but I can uh, so far recommend them highly. Uh, today we just brought out a simple tripod and put the buzz bar on there with the alarms and uh, hoping to catch some fish. Up dead sexy. Did you know why that happened? It didn't take the drag off. off. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't mind losing the drag. All right, no. I got the rods. Grab the box. Yeah. Stay off Fucking drugs, sucks, kids. Dude. Stay off. Also, drugs. if you put this on this side, it feels like it's six or seven pounds. <laughs> Jesus, so Tommy. Just being average. I, exactly. <laughs> net, 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 net. I want to get the shirt. Moon, mind if I use your net? I think yeah, Moon's moon just, just dropped as well. Yeah. Oh. He's dropped. He might be on. He's on him. Oh, look. <laughs> My rod's going to go off. Watch. Shh. Tide's dropping. Said he might stop biting. Okay. Whoa. Have you seen it yet? I think, I think he's got the, uh, he's got the money, money fish. 
think he's holding the money fish. And it's a blue cat. <laughs> no, it's not. That's a carp. That's a carp. It's a carp. Oh, it's, it looks like the money fish. Nah. It's a tiny hook that's slipped out of other fish's mouths. It's a good size one. That's a nice one. There we go. I needed a good fish. Oh. Took the pot out, got the rods <laughs> out. That's a good one. That's a good 20 pounder. Do you have a scale? Oh, wait. I have a scale. Wanna bring it? I'm, yeah. so, I'm saying 22. What is it? 24 and a half. Yeah. 24 and a half. Easy. Half. Yeah. <laughs> nice. That's teared out. So that's 24 and a half. Nice. And how much is over there? 26? 23 is what that I heard last. No. They were 23? This yeah. is the biggest one. This is the, the biggest one. Oh. Yeah. Money. Oh. Money fish. Money oh, fish. Oh, wow. I get half of that. Because I caught it. <laughs> <laughs> you like paying attention to the money. Oh. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, buddy. There we go. I'm surprised he didn't have it earlier when I asked him. I said, I'm just using mine. It definitely feels a little bit bigger than the one I lost earlier. Oh, oh, oh. Please be a mirror. <laughs> oh, he's already here. 
Thanks, Simon. Right. Cool. Thanks, Simon. Yeah, I got you. Thank you, buddy. Here, I'll try not to quiz you. Power ball. Ah, uh, Does that work? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I thought it was 20. I thought it was 20 as well. It's 20, though, right? No. No. No way. Really? 70 or <laughs> kilograms. <laughs> I thought it was bigger. I, I thought it was bigger. Seven T, seven T. It looks bigger. We just got a longer girth. You got it set on stone, Simon. That's <laughs> good. That's good. Cool. I love this thing. Okay, I'm down here in DC with the amped up carpathon. Got my Daiwa Infinity Pro rod pod all set up. I have my Daiwa Mad Dragons with my Regal 4000 reels. I also have a NGT Margin Stalker. I've got a little bit of everything out. I have a homemade bully on one. I have a blue raspberry bully on one. I have some method with some fake corn on one. Just kind of waiting to see what happens here. Let the car. It's a car. That's a solid bronze. Yeah. Right, hold on, I want to jump over. I got it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Packing up fish. Alright. Maybe we should stay with Simon. No, I'm just gonna put it up on the let her uh, do her thing. I'll put you in, man, since we got the fish. Yeah, do that. Seriously, yeah. Yeah, no, I'll help. Woo! I don't know. Get the okay, harpoon get that, ready. Get that rod up. Look at that. Oh, you need a big time. It's a big table. You need a big divvy. You can probably play some deep sleep on that. I'm just next to the bed here. Control bed. Oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> I see color. Eighty-two minutes. It's a mirror, too. No, it's not. No. False alarm. Yeah, right. Fully scaled comet. Alright, we got another one this morning. Day two of Carpathon. Let's go. Pretty little dark colors. Alright, so this is fish number three since the guys got here. It's like number six or seven for me this morning. Let's see what we got. It's another small one. Show yourself. Simon, you got it? Cool yeah. beans. Yeah, about the same size almost. Here, look at this, uh, these battle wounds that she's got on her head. I don't know if you can see that or not. But the short, stubby nose. We're gonna let this one go. Another good fish, let's go. Morning from uh, Washington, DC. This is Red Coat Fisherman, AKA Simon. Um, the, the real Brit here. Just letting you know I'm pre-setting, getting everything set up, ready for a day two of fishing down with a, as a social. Getting almost all prepared, ready to cast out. 
buddy there, Chad, down there. He caught himself a few already. He stayed here overnight and did some nice lovely carp again on a corn with some products mixed into it from us. Now I'm going to get ready, set up and put my own gear back on. Get some nice fish on the on the hooks again. See how well we do today. Let me go 24s, 16s, or 18s. Let's see how we go. And that's you. Enjoy your day. Going into a bit, a bit of carp care. What you're seeing here is small little carp here caught in the Potomac area in Haynes Point, DC. One of the things that you notice a lot of people carp care in the US isn't as higher quality as what we do in Europe, in England, and other European countries, we, we care and tend to our fish. So one of the things I've noticed here, a lot of people like to grab their fish by the gill plates. This little piece of system in there, they all say it's, it's solid armor. It's actually not, because what happens is, if you aggressively beat the fish down, you get this. And what's happened is, this fish has been pulled out by its gill plate, could have been caught in a line, could have had it ripped off by a line, could have been pulled by the gill plate. Although the, where the gill plate was, is healed over, the tissue around the gills itself is not healing because that's like, just like us in, internally it's not healing correctly because it's not getting the same quality of, um, protection so all the bacteria everything's going to affect this fish more often and slowly kill it off the outer layer heals a lot faster than what it does on the inside you notice there's possible infections forming around the gill lines and inside the gills so if you notice if you look carefully if you can zoom in we want to show the picture here you can tell it's coming to spawning season the, the fine little pins on the actual the fish itself are starting to come up. So you're seeing these like raised little bumps on the skin and around the actual their shell. But all in all, if that wasn't that, this would have been a perfect fish. darning egg. Egg, yep. See if you put that in there, then you, you see now you're doing it.
hooked or? Nah, I'm just tangled around that rod you got in your hand. Oh, my rod's in, my rod's in the mouth. <laughs> no, 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 not in, not in, not in. Not in. What's, it's mine. Sure? Yeah. Yes. Simon, uh, sorry about your sling, bro. So we got number five in the morning since the guys got here. It's a good fish, huh? And let's do it. All right, see what you got. Thank you, Simon. I should press forward. Press it forward. Sit yourself down. Pop, pop it from the back. Pop it from the back. Grab hold of the box. Yeah. And grab the other oh, There we go. Thank you, boys. Appreciate it. <laughs> Come on, that was me. 